What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, and this next question, we're told that you own 1,000 shares of a corporation that earned $54,000 before taxes. There are 6,000 shares outstanding in total. Once the corporation pays 32% in taxes, it'll distribute the rest to shareholders as a dividend. What is the earnings per share for the corporation? And then if your personal tax rate on dividends and other income is 30% and 40% respectively, how much will you receive from the dividend after tax on a per share basis and in total? So first off, this here, you don't have to write all of this out. This is written in a PDF file at the beginning of the chapter. If you're watching this on YouTube, there will be a link in the description box where you can download the PDF file from the website. So to start off, I wanna show you from a high level what's happening. So we're starting with the corporation. So notice that there's earnings before taxes. So there's gonna be earnings before taxes. And then what happens is this corporation has to pay tax. And the tax that the corporation is gonna pay is 32%. So this is gonna be, uh, let me write it here, 32%. And then after that, what's going to happen is the corporation is going to have net income or we'll call it earnings, right? Earnings before taxes, then the taxes are paid and then the corporation has earnings or net income, right? So this is all from the income statement of the corporation. So this portion here is all on the corporation level. Now what's happening is after this, the corporation is taking these earnings and it's distributing all of them to shareholders as a dividend. So these earnings now go to shareholders as a dividend. And so now what happens is that the shareholders have to pay tax on this, on this dividend here personally, right? So there's going to be tax on this on a personal level. And then notice we're told that your personal tax rate on dividends and other income is 30% and 40% respectively. But since we're just dealing with dividends, the tax rate is going to be 30%. So the 40% is actually irrelevant in this question because we're not told of other income that we're receiving. We're just receiving the dividends. And so any dividends we receive, we gotta pay 30% tax on that. And then that, after that, that's what we're gonna have left over, right? That's gonna be the answer to the second question. How much will you receive from the dividend after tax? So we can say, uh, let's just call it um, net amount over here. And so all of this portion here in this sort of timeline or in this flow chart, that's on the personal level. So this is on the corporation level and then these earnings, they're all getting paid out as a dividend and then this is gonna be on the personal level. Now in reality, usually all of the earnings aren't being paid out as a dividend. A portion is being retained in the company and then those retained earnings get invested, reinvested back in the company and hopefully that uh, increases sales uh, and or decreases costs. And so those earnings increase, right? So this would go back into the company. But in this case, there's no retained earnings. It's all being paid out as dividends. So this is what's happening from a higher level before we get into the calculations. And so now actually the calculations, we can, let's do them at the bottom of this. So the earnings before taxes, we're told it's 54,000. Now I'm actually gonna do this in two ways. You can do this portion here as a total for the company, but you can also take this and make it on a per share basis because notice that they're asking what's the earnings per share. So that's gonna be this, the total earnings divided by the shares outstanding, which is 6,000. And then they're asking how much you're gonna receive from the dividend after tax on a per share basis and in total. So they're asking a lot of per share 
calculations. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this 54,000 and I'm going to get the earnings before taxes on a per share basis. So I'm going to divide it by the total shares outstanding, 6,000. And so the corporation is earning $9 per share before taxes. So that would be here. So we're going to do it on a per share basis. And so now what's going to happen is they have to pay 32% tax on this. So 32% of $9 would be 188. And so the earnings per share is going to be $6.12. So that's actually the answer to the first question. That's what the earnings per share is. Now you can do it on a total basis again. You could take the 54,000. You could pay taxes on that. So 32% of 54,000 would be 17,280. And then the total earnings would end up being 36,720. And then to get the earnings per share, you would take these total earnings and then divide that by 6,000 to get the $6.12. So you could go about it that way as well. I'm just gonna keep it on that per share basis. So let me write here, divide this by 6,000, the total shares outstanding, not the total amount of shares you own, that's gonna be for this portion, we're still on the corporate level. So divided by 6,000, the total amount of shares outstanding, so this would be 6.12. So two ways to go about that right there. So now what's happening is this $6.12, this is on a per share basis, it's getting paid as a dividend to shareholders. And you're one of those shareholders. You own 1,000 shares of this corporation. So now what's going to happen is you receive this dividend for $6.12. You're going to get taxed on that 30%. So 30% of $6.12 would be 1.836. Let's not round there. And so the net of that, 6.12 minus 1.836 would give us 4.284. So I kept it to three decimal places. If this is a question where they're asking on a per share basis, you could just round this to $4.28. I'm keeping it to three decimal places here just because we're owning a thousand shares. So we're gonna end up multiplying that by a thousand. So our final answer, the total answer would be more accurate, right? So this actually here is the answer to part of this question. How much will you receive from the dividend after tax on a per share basis? And that's not just you, that's all shareholders. Actually, not necessarily all shareholders that would have that same tax rate. Some shareholders may have a different tax rate than you, and so this amount would be different, but this amount would be the same for all shareholders. So that's the net amount on a per share basis, and then you own 1,000 shares, so you can multiply this by 1,000 shares, and so the total amount would be 4,284. So that's the answer for that right there, right? And that's pretty much it. Now, another way you could have done this is um, they're paying $6.12 per share as a dividend. So you could have just multiplied that by your 1,000. So you would get 6,120. That's how much you'd receive as a dividend with your 1,000 shares. And then you'd pay $1,836 in taxes to get that 4,284. But because they asked for this per share basis as well, I just kept it per share here and then just multiplied the thousand at the end. All right, so the, um, the three answers here was the EPS for the corporation, $6.12. What's the um, amount you receive from the dividend after tax on a per share basis, 4.284 or 4.28 if you round it to the nearest cent. And then the amount you receive in total is $4,284.